Hey everybody, in this video we're going to talk about the next brush, uh, Curve Tube Snap. So to get to it, you go to the brush palette and press C, and Curve Tube Snap, J, C, J. And then it is just like some of the other brushes we've been working with, very dependent, dependent on the brush size, so you click and drag and create a line and then you can move it around just like the other brushes and that is also dependent on your brush size so a yeah it's a lot easier to move a bigger area with a larger brush control Z and instead of having a small that that's just too hard to move yeah, unless you're doing like really fine detail and stuff. So we can quickly create limbs for a particular character. Um, let's see. Let's turn on the uh, symmetry and um, radial symmetry and four times. Oh, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. And just let's pull out some some arms. Um, and bleh. I don't know. Never mind. Let's let's um, keep on radial symmetry and up it a little bit. And let's try and create something pretty interesting. It's the sun, yay. Ooh, spider web. Nice. I tried to make a spider web in ZBrush a little while ago. It took me a long, long time. I just made one. Isn't that cool? And you can deselect and then dynamesh it, which would make it one big, huge object. And then, uh, let's see. Increase the brush size, and let's see what else. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, I'm, I'm loving this brush, especially when you use some of the other features like radial symmetry and things like that. Yeah, so everybody use a curved tube snap as much as you can, along with any of the other brushes. There are so many to choose from, just you know, close your eyes and pick one, you know? Like, yeah. Insert head. <laughs> Let's create a bunch of heads. Moo ha ha. Yeah, just kidding. Uh, anyway, that was curve, curve, uh, tube snap. See you in the next video, everybody.